Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. That thing is very simple. I wrote a book on that thing, Two Cents to Save America. The concept is quite simple. I think the government spends too much money, and we're going to stop it. I want to put the government on a diet. When I am elected president, there are three things that will happen right away. Number one, we're going to go on a path to start balancing the budget. Instead of just increasing our budget every year, we're going to freeze it. Instead of having everybody, everybody spend every penny in that budget, we're going to do just the opposite. They have to cut two cents on every dollar of discretionary spending. And that has to happen now. Amen. Number two, never again are we going to have transition therapy for a mic. I think it's time. Well, I'm Perry Johnson. I've spent my entire life bringing quality and efficiency to companies. I've done that for 35 years. And I own about 80 companies. I think it's 80 some. We do business in 61 countries. None of my companies have any debt. None of them have ever gone bankrupt. And I wrote a book on Two Cents to Save America. And in that book, I have a plan for exactly what we need to do in order to get, get the government on solid footing. Basically, we're going to cut two cents out of every dollar of discretionary spending, freezing the budget. And we're going to get rid of this inflation. The government spends too much money. And we're now $32 trillion in debt. This, I want everyone to realize in Iowa, that in America, each family is spending a, roughly $610 a month just in paying the interest on the federal debt. Under Biden's plan, that will go up to $1,000 a month per family on the interest on the debt. We're also, on an average, spending $100 a month funding the war in Ukraine. The reason we have inflation is simple. The government has spent too much money. They put 40% more money into the economy, didn't provide goods and services for, the month, for that money, and now we're sitting over there with this huge problem. You should be paying 175 for glass, gas, not 350. You should not have inflation in food the way it goes. It's absurd. And heaven forbid you want to try to buy a home now. If you buy a home now compared to two and a half, three years ago, and you put 7% down, your payments are going to be about 100% more. This is nuts.